Hello, welcome to the Herco WinMax Lathe Introductory Program Training Class. My name is Mike Cope. I'm an Applications Engineer at Herco, and I'll be walking you through this online version of our in-house training class. First of all, let's talk about navigating the control or some of the common screens that we see in the Herco control. First of all, we have the input screen. You can reach the input screen by simply pressing the input button on the control panel. And this is going to bring you to a screen that I would say is the most popular or the most important screen that we have in the control. From this screen, we can do everything that we need to do for part setup, editing a program, creating a program, uh, the, the program parameters that control the way that each individual program runs. We can get to our tool geometries, manipulate our program files uh, by starting new programs, bringing them in. Even in the bottom left corner, you see that the active program that's active is always displayed on this screen. So the input screen, anytime that you find that you're lost in the control, or you're not sure where you need to go, simply press that button. That'll bring you here. And you should be able to, from this screen, navigate anywhere in the control that you need to go. The program manager screen is also a very popular screen that we're going to use. This is where we create new programs open existing programs, save programs that we have created. From this screen we can also see a snapshot of the part that we're actually running, which we'll talk about later when we get into some graphics. There's a description box that we can put some information that is specific to the part that we're running, there in the blue. Um, we have class print 5 written there, but you can type anything that you want. So in this screen, based on whatever the file name is that we've called this part. You see there on to the right of the file names there's a path. That shows where on the hard drive that this part is or this program has been saved. And we have the image and the description. So the, what we've named our part, where we've saved it, what it looked like, and this description, we should be able to categorize our prints or our parts very well. There's some other, other information that we get from this screen as well. Notice the exclamation points underneath the little uh, floppy disk drive. That indicates that someone started a program. When you create a new program, it's going to be no name, whatever the next available number is. And if you make any changes to that program, or if you open an existing program and make any changes, at least one character is changed, you will see this icon will appear visually telling you that something in the program has changed. When you go to close these programs, it's going to ask you, are you sure there are changes that haven't been saved? And then you have the option at that point to either ignore that request or go ahead and save the program, either as a new name or override the existing program. Here we see the program review screen. Re re review screen. We get to the review screen by simply hitting the review button on the control panel. And that's basically an outline view of what the program looks like. On the left, we see the individual blocks that make up the program. And on the right, in the green box, we see as we highlight an individual block, those are the sub blocks that make up the turns, the face, the so on, the actual geometry um, that is made up in that particular block that's highlighted. I also like to use the review screen to navigate my program. When I hit this button, I can look in and I can say, okay, program uh, block number five is a rough turning profile using tool three. It's the first time I've used tool three. That's the program feature that I want to make some edits to. So I can simply double click on that and it would take me to that particular area of the program. I can also cut, copy, and paste from this screen as well. So it makes it very easy to edit existing programs. Here we see the tool review screen. The tool review screen I like to use almost like a setup sheet. This tells me the number, the tools, what number they are, and what type of tool is being used for each individual uh, turret location. So here I'm using one, two, three, four, and six. There is no tool five. So I'd simply have to make sure that the tools as they're described, are in those locations in the turret. And as I said, this is, this is used kind of like a setup sheet. 
the manual screen. Manual screen will be used obviously a lot during um, setup. We can do things like turn the spindle on on a manual function setup. Um, we can set an active tool, meaning instead of indexing one turret station at a time, we can simply go to set active tool. It will ask for what turret location number. We put that in and we hit a button that says um, either clockwise, counterclockwise, or take shortest path. So it's an easy way to get to a specific tool pocket. We can also operate all of our accessories from here under the accessory operations um, menu. There are things like the tailstock tool setter, uh, being able to uh, manually operate the parts catcher, things like that. Chuck operations, we can change whether this is an internal or an external clamping. And we're also going to come into this screen every morning when we home the machine and hit the calibrate machine button. So the manual screen is also something that we will use very often. The help screen. On the control panel there is a button labeled help and whenever you're in an area that you need some assistance you simply hit that button and it will bring up a Windows type help box like you see on the screen. It's content sensitive meaning if I was in for this example I was in the part setup screen of the control when I hit the button it does bring up the part setup portion of the help menu. It's searchable. I can go to the index tab, type in some information and hit enter and it will search through the entire database of help menus to find something that is uh, relevant to the keywords that I've put in there. And if there are links that show up inside of the window there on the right, such as the part setup soft keys button is, under, is underlined, I can simply click on that. That is a clickable link that will take me to another section of the manual. Now all of the manuals, the operations manual, the programming manual, setup, everything exists in this help menu. So it is an easy way for you to find help when needed and not have to go find the actual printed manuals.